so this is the c program which will help us to uh, experiment the shared data problem this c program contains two tasks one is the main task another one is the interrupt service routine which is timer zero interrupt service routine timer zero interrupt service routine updates the temperature time the main routine compares the temperature so there is a compare temperature task and update temperature task update temperature task is the highest priority timer zero interrupt service routine compare temperature task is the lowest priority main routine so the lowest priority main routine and the highest priority interrupt service routine both are sharing the temperature variables temp1 and temp2 because both are sharing the global variable temperature 1 and temperature 2 there is a possibilities of shared data problem okay so this is the underground tank monitoring system where tank temperatures are getting monitored the tank temperatures are updated in the uh, interrupt service routine and the temperature of the petrol tank is compared in the main routine if the temperatures are not equal the fire alarm will set if the temperatures are equal the fire alarm will be cleared okay so for an interrupt service routine the interrupt is being initialized that's all here we are going to experiment the shared data problem for convenience it is better to look at the uh, disassembly window so if you look at this disassembly window we are initializing the interrupt timer zero interrupt and uh, timer 0 in 16 bit timer mode and the th0 value is uploaded th tl0 is value is uploaded and we have started the timer and we are comparing the temp1 and temp2 so in this main routine we are comparing the temperature so if temp1 is not equal to temp2 looks like a single instruction in c program but when this c program is cross compiled to the assembly language program it has become three lines of assembly language code as we see here because the comparison cannot happen between the uh, two temperature uh, variables one variable data need to be moved to the accumulator then accumulator content need to be compared with the variable content so moving the one temperature content to the accumulator and comparing the second temperature with the accumulator content and if it is zero it will clear the fire alarm if it is one it will set the fire alarm because xring will clear if both the temperatures are equal the XR output will be non-zero when the both the temperatures are not equal. That is the idea here. So single uh, instruction in C program mean become three instructions in this assembly window. This is one good example which will create a shared data problem that we are going to experience it now. Okay. So now the temp1 value is temperature 1 value is 0 and the temperature 2 value is 0 initially. So uh, temperature 1 will be moved to the accumulator accumulator is here look at the screen I'm doing the single step temperature 1 value is 0 temperature 2 value is also 0 and we have extracted this after XRing the accumulator content is also 0 because the accumulator content has become 0 we are clearing the fire alarm which is P2.0 yes just we are clearing the fire alarm which has become 2 now the program execution has jumped to the interrupt service routine to update the temperature Okay, first you have compared the temperature, then we are updating the temperature now. So the x and y values now, here you can see x and y values are 20. The new temperature values are 20, which will get updated to temp1 and temp2 in the interrupt service routine, as we see here. In the interrupt service routine, temp1 will is updated to 20, as you see here. And the temp2 is updated to 20, as we see here. Temp2 is updated to 20. And then we will return back to the main routine as you see here we will return back to the main routine after updating the temperature and return interrupt so return interrupt we are returning back after updating the temperature we are going to compare the temperature okay so comparing the temperature will happen so here again you are comparing the temperature and value now moving the temperature and value to the accumulator now the temperature and value is 20 degrees centigrade so moving that to the accumulator yes which is hexadecimal 14 20 degrees centigrade is hexadecimal 14 which has moved to the accumulator and temperature 2 is also 20 which is 40 then you compare it the accumulator current has become 0 so if 0 uh, clear the fire alarm if 0 clear the fire alarm yes we are clearing the fire alarm already fire alarm is cleared everything is safe so clearing the fire alarm going back to the next comparison again we are keep on comparing now you can see this is the very important thing right so timer value 
timer h value is ff timer low value is ff it is about to execute the interrupt service routine now you can see move a comma temp1 after executing this instruction move a comma temp1 accumulator will be loaded with uh, 14 and before updating temperature 2 program execution will go for interrupt service routine this is the root cause for share data problem you can see now after executing temp1 before executing temp2 the interrupt will get generated because already timer is having ff by executing this instruction timer 0 flag will set and program execution will jump to the interrupt service routine and it will update both the temperature 1 and temperature 2 it will return back to the temperature 2 but older temperature 1 will be compared with new temperature 2 which will create a shared data problem that we are going to experience it now now you can see the interrupt happens between these two lines which two lines after executing new a comma temp 1 and before executing xrl a comma temp 2 the interrupt will happen so after updating temperature and before updating temperature 2 it go to the interrupt service routine this creates a problem you can see now temp 1 value is 20 which will be moved to the accumulator yes temp 1 value is 20 which has moved to the accumulator which is 14 and the program execution has jumped to the interrupt service routine in the interrupt service routine both the temperature values are updated to 21 you can see the new temperature values are 21 and 21 now you can see the both the temperature values are updated to 21 and then returning back to the main routine here in the main routine it has because it has jumped from the interrupt has happened between these two the program execution jumped here to the ESR and then updated the temperature now it is coming and executing this instruction XRL A comma temp2 now both the temperature values temperature 1 and temperature 2 are 21 and 21 but already the accumulator content has 20 which is 14 in hexadecimal now the earlier value temperature earlier updated temp 1 which is in the accumulator 20 which is compared with the new updated uh, temp 2 which is the root cause for shared data problem so older temperature 1 value in the accumulator which is 20 is compared with the new updated uh, temperature value 21 so 20 is compared with 21 that means 20 is XRL with 21 which will be not equal so it will create the fire alarm even though both the temperatures are 21 and 21 so this is shared data problem which we need to understand why the shared data problem happens because the interrupt happens in between those two lines because the interrupt happens in between these two lines what has happened before updating t2 after updating t1 we are comparing the value the older value of temperature 1 is compared with the new value of temperature 2 which creates this shared data problem so interrupt must not happen between these two instructions that is the main thing which you have to concentrate so now you can see now the accumulator current is 20 and uh, the new temperature value is 21 so 20 is compared with 21 means when you XR it the value of the accumulator will never become zero you see the value of accumulator will never become zero so it has become something like one and because it is non-zero so it will set the fire alarm right if it is zero it jump to clear because it is non zero it will set the fire alarm you can see so now the fire alarm was zero which is t2.0 now it will set the fire alarm 2.0 has set so bo even though both the temperatures are equal because of this share data problem it sets the fire alarm which is a big disaster for an underground tank monitoring system okay so this share data problem need to be prevented how to prevent this share data problem we can prevent this share mm -hmm. data problem just like that by disabling the interrupt as you see i can show you so ie equal to 0 f 0 0 this is disabling the interrupt here you are enabling the interrupt okay ie equal to 0 x 80 so wherever there is a possibility of shared data problem we, have, we know very well so at that particular places we have to disable the interrupt in the conventional programming so here there is a possibility while comparing the two temperatures there is a possibility of shared data problem hence while comparing the interrupt should not happen so you are disabling the interrupt during this time and we are enabling the interrupt after the particular complete routine is happened so this main routine is a critical section where the interrupt should not happen now we have updated the code now it will never create the shared data problem once again if you see the same thing we are going to test it so initializing the 
visualizing the timer and interrupts initializing the timer and interrupts initializing the timer and interrupt in the main routine you are disabling the interrupt right in the main routine you are disabling the interrupt and then you are comparing the temperature now what is the temperature zero zero so you are comparing the temperature zero zero you can see moving to the temperature on the documenter zero exciting the accumulator community is also zero so because it is zero you are clearing the fire alarm s2.0 is clear now you are enabling the interrupt and again you are going for comparison because you have enabled the interrupt the interrupt was already there then it has go to the program execution has gone to the interrupt service routine in the interrupt service routine it will update the temperature 1 and temperature 2 from 0 to 20 because the new value of temperature is 20 and 20 which will get updated to temp 1 and temp 2 after executing this instruction you can see now temp 1 and temp 2 has updated to 20 ok both the temperatures are 20 now and then you are returning back to the main routine you can see you are returning back to the main routine or ETA in the main routine you are disabling the interrupt because this is the way to prevent the shared data problem you are stopping preventing the interrupt and then you are going for comparison now you can see uh, the tempo 1 value is 21 which is moved to the accumulator which is 14 as you see here and then you are come XRing with temp 2 temp 2 is also uh, 21 so the comparison value is 0 so you are clearing the fire alarm and then you are enabling the interrupt and then you are going for the interrupt service routine in the interrupt service routine it is updating the temperature 1 and temperature 2 values 21 and 21 yes the temperature 1 and temperature 2 values are incremented to 21 and 21 you can see and then you are returning from the interrupt yes returning from the interrupt in the interrupt service routine to main routine in the main routine you are disabling the interrupt and then you are comparing now move a comma 20 temp 1 it is 15 which is 21 XRL with temp 2 that is also 21 because both are 21 now interrupt will never happen between these two because we have disabled the interrupt now both the temperatures are equal so the accumulator content when XR with uh, temp 1 and temp 2 through accumulator the accumulator content will become 0 so because it is 0 it is clearing the fire alarm then you are enabling the interrupt soon after you are enabling the interrupt it will go to the ISR it will update the temperature now the temperature has become 22 now 22 will be compared with another 22 here by disabling the interrupt now temp 1 will be 22 which is 16 XR with the temp 2 which is also 16 mm. so because it is 0 it is compared the result is also 0 and you are clearing the fire alarm and you are enabling the interrupt then going and updating the temperature which is 23 coming back to the main routine and disabling the interrupt during the critical section and then 17 is 23 and comparing with 23 the answer is 0 and clearing the fire alarm and enabling the interrupt it goes on so the temperature is keep on updating and the fire alarm is keep on clearing no problem as long as both the temperatures are equal it's very interesting when these two temperatures are differing means it will set the fire alarm so we have discussed how to create the share data problem and how to prevent the share data problem by disabling interrupts has been discussed in this particular example very clearly through this example it is very clearly we have understood what is shared data problem how to create shared data problem and how to prevent shared data problem all are experimented here so to prevent this shared data problem in the real time operating system instead of inter uh, disabling interrupts there is a another tool called semaphores we have to use semaphores for preventing the shared data problem in the real time operating system similar to this what we did with interrupt enable equal to 0 interrupt enable equal to 82 the same thing will happen with the semaphores in the real time operating system thank you